Hey there, welcome to Rachel Oti Mam. So lovely to connect. It's been some time since we've connected. Um, things have been crazy with holidays and new school year, new work year starting. Uh, but today I wanted to speak to you about attachment and connection um, in a very broad kind of sense. And the reason I wanted to talk about it is because it's, um, it's really something I'm thinking about in my own parenting journey at the moment. So I have sort of committed to this idea of gentle parenting um, and parenting without punishment. Um, and it's a hard path to walk, um, not only because it's not what, what I grew up with and it's not what has been modeled to me, but also because I, I have no blueprint for how it's meant to work. Um, and over the holidays, um, you know, there's been a lot of play and a lot of visiting family and friends and, um, you know, being out of our home and uh, a lot of our routines have gone and my children's behavior, I mean, it's been wonderful in many ways, but in some ways it's just got worse and worse. And I've really been struggling with them listening to me. And in fact, on Friday, I, I, I worked in the morning and I went outside and they'd been playing in the garden and they had just made an almighty mess. They'd made like potions and uh, dug holes in flower beds and there was like a pile of snails with flies on it and I just lost it. I was angry, I was properly angry and I shouted at them, I think the whole neighborhood heard. Um, not my proudest parenting moment but I absolutely lambasted them. And I was like, you know, we don't live in a pigsty and you boys are old enough to know not to do this. And I've asked you nicely not to. And, you know, and while I was, while it was all sort of coming out, I was thinking, this is not gentle parenting. And then I was thinking, man, gentle parenting doesn't even work. <laughs> um, so that night I was lying in bed and I was like, okay, this, it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't, you know, fine. Yeah, they needed to know that, that they were off sides, but, but I didn't feel good about it. And I was thinking about, okay, so what does make gentle parenting so powerful and why does it work? Um, and it really comes down to attachment and connection. Um, so we all need motivators to do things um, and you might be motivated out of fear, but you might also be motivated because um, out of connection and attachment because you want to do something that's right for your parents and you want to listen to them and that relationship is so strong and it's so two-way um, that you just that's all you understand to do um, and I do a lot with my children I play a lot with them and I do a lot of things with them but I don't do that much child-led play and um, especially as they've got older we've kind of slipped out of doing that life's very busy we get on with things um, I'll chat to them while I'm busy doing something else or I'll give them an instruction just to you know, to get them working on something while I do something else. And, you know, it was one of the joys of your, your children getting bigger. But I have let that child dead play fall aside a little bit. So I've set a challenge for myself. I am going to do 30 minutes. Well, I started yesterday. 30 minutes of child led play for 30 days. And I'm going to look at how when I'm doing that over time, it changes my children's behavior. Now, I know it's not a quick fix. And in fact, yesterday, I, we've got a sand timer and I put it on for 30 minutes. I said, boys, now is your, you choose. You, whatever you want to play, I'm going to play it with you. The only rules are no one can get hurt. It can't be dangerous. Uh, no fighting between you and no screens. Um, and I said, and then mom is yours. I've put my phone away and there's no food on the stove and whatever you want to play, we're going to play it. Um, and the only thing yesterday was I kept trying to turn the sand timer over again because I wanted it for longer. But it was, it was amazing. I, I did find myself I kept checking my watch <laughs> I think like it's half an hour up so it felt quite long to me so I'm interested to see from my perspective what changes um, over this, this these 30 days as well so join me on the challenge I would love you to I'd love some other moms out there to do 30 days of 30 minutes a day of child-led play where they just choose and you're just there to to take in what they say grow on their ideas share with them create this beautiful dance of backwards and forwards reciprocal uh, play between the two of you um, and then let's see what it does for our children's behavior okay all right I'll check in soon bye